Hello, my name is Adam and I am pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS Advanced Partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look at the demo of the AWS Web Application Firewall, AWS WAF, with an application load balancer in the AWS Management Console. So we, here we have our architecture for today. We will be using RDS instance with EC2. This is a very basic LAMP stack. We also have application load balancer before the EC2. Uh, we don't have auto scaling group at the moment, but for you to understand, if you want to deploy AWS WAF in AWS architecture, you need to use, for example, CloudFront before EC2 or application load balancer before EC2. You are not able to deploy AWS WAF on EC2 alone. We will also use ACM with domain certificate for HTTPS with application load balancer and also root 53 DNS with domain name. So we can go to AWS management console and start with our demo. And I'm in the AWS Management Console and I will go through what I have in AWS. Now I have some EC2 instance. Okay, so my instance is here prepared and I, I'm using Load Balancer. And as said before, you have to use Load Balancer with EC2 to be able to add WAF because you are not able to use AWS WAF with EC2 instance itself. I'm also using my test domain, so I have it set it up in root 53. If I open root 53 and go to hosted zone, I have stormit.link here. I can try to hit it. So I will go to my test domain. And as you can see, I have some PHP application. I'm also using RDS instance with EC2 instance, but it's not necessary to know. As you can see, everything is written here. But for our purposes, this is enough. And we will just want to add some AWS WAF ACL and some rules. So to be precise, we will go to AWS Management Console and open AWS WAF. So just write WAF and click on this. For AWS WAF, as you can see here, you have some settings on the left panel and we will go through some of them. But first, what I want to do to, is to demonstrate some simple web ACL. So I will create first web ACL. And as you can see, WAF is a global service, but uh, to be sure that you are using it right from start, please do not write any name or description or CloudWatch metric name. Just first check in uh, what region you want to use. I have everything in Europe Frankfurt, so I will use Europe Frankfurt here and it will be regional resources because I'm using application load balancer. I can just write WAF rule WAF1 first rule and it will add CloudWatch metric name, we'll get to that later to CloudWatch. And I will add AWS resources, basically only one resource, and it will be my application load balancer. So I will check that and I can go to the next page. We will not create any rules at the moment. I want to just demonstrate how WAF can be quickly set it up to block everything what goes to your application. So I will block any any action against my application. As you can see, action for request that don't match any rules. Because we don't have any rules, we will be basically blocked. I will go through this very quickly. We will go through some of the things later. Yes, yes, okay. And I will create my web ACL that is associated associated to my ALB. It should take only a couple of seconds, I think. Our first rule or web ACL is created. 
so we can try to hit our domain again and we will see if it's possible to connect to it and as you can see our ACL blocked us from using these ALB and the EC2 instances so our first rule is working and we can actually go to this rule again and as you can see here are some requests from my IP and they are blocked so you can basically see everything this is done by CloudWatch but you can see everything for your rule here we can go to rules we can actually go to default web ACL action and edit it so we will be allowed again and save it okay so we should be able now to go to my application again and as you can see it, wor it works very fast AWS WAF doesn't need any time basically to update your changes to it what we want to do now is to try some other rules as you can see here are managed rule groups i will go through that very quickly there are some other services or so, some other providers that are that provide managed rules you can go through that if you are interested i think that for every one of them there is some cost to that so have it in mind that you can go to aws marketplace and check everything there also aws itself provides some manager rules there are also some free rules so you can use them for free you will only be paying for web acl itself and uh, to go through this very quickly as you can see there are some protections as admin protection something against anonymous ip list or known bad bad inputs or core rule sets that is provided by OWASP publications i can choose that as you can see we can even edit it here so we can definitely choose it and we also can choose linux operating systems because you, we are using linux and as you can see here is also something about php applications you can definitely try to if if you are interested in php you can try to find more information about what is inside this rule but i can just check it here and use it so i will add these rules and as you can see there is something called capacity and together these three managed rules take like thousand of them i will check here okay we have five 1500 VCUs basically available we are using only thousand of them so it's fine we can also add some other rules uh, that is called own rules or rule groups i will go to that and as you can see there is multiple things you can actually create something called rule in a rule builder or you can block any IP set that you will need to create first. We can definitely choose to use this, but we will need to first create some IP that we will want to block. Okay, so we can go and create our IP set. So I will go here and click on IP sets. I actually have one instance for this, so I will open Lightsail. And as you can see, I have Windows Server here. I will click to that and we will connect to it by using RDP. And as you can see, here is an instance IP that we will block to demonstrate how this works. So I will go back to AWS WAF and we will create our new IP set and it will be our light sale instance just to demonstrate how this will work and it will be yes okay here we don't okay need to have space and 
yes it will be ipv4 description is not needed and we will block this ip address after this so i will create my ip set and if i go to light sale again this is my instance with uh, the ip that i have added to aws buff i will open chrome and okay we are here and it should work now and i will go back to aws buff as you can see we have created our ip set with the ip of this instance and i will choose this ip set here if it will work i think we will have to cancel it and try it again so we will add new rules it will be my own new rule and ip set okay again can write something like this okay light cell instance and as you can see here is light cell and here is the action as you can see you can even allow only this ip set this can be useful if you are creating some testing environment and want to have access from only some ips you can use aws WAF for that or as you can see you can give capture capture to that user we can actually use that for now but because block is definitely something what you already understand what is it used for we can use capture and yes uh, okay and we can add this rule so when i go okay we can save it when I go back to my EC2 instance, which is running Windows in LightSail, I can try to open new tab and hit again Storm it. And as you can see, we got CAPTCHA from AWS WAF. If I do the same from my IP, it should work. So as you can see, I didn't get CAPTCHA because I'm using different IP. So this was a demonstration what AWS WAF offers. Uh, I will go back to my AWS management console and just to be sure I want to go to CloudWatch and I will just find the metrics there because they can be useful for normal production applications. So I will use all metrics here and I will find WAF. And as you can see, here are some region rule, web ACLs, and you will find every information about every ACL that you actually created. As you can see, I have block light sale instance here. I can just select it. And as you can see, we can find the capture request uh, selected. So it's only one, but in normal application, you can actually use it. And leverage it to know what is happening inside of AWS WAF. So this is basically my demonstration of AWS WAF in AWS Management Console and we can go back to my presentation. And thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos about AWS services, subscribe to our channel or if you want to learn more about other services, visit our website and blog. Links are in the description below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.